All right. All right. We're going to begin by giving Hanan, Hanan glory, glory to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Mokakwadash. We're going to say double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that surely rule well. And salutation to the brothers that push in this work out there through the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth. This is three brothers from Jemma's channel that come to break a little bread. You know, hope this, hope this video edifying to the elect. You know, um, the basis of this video is um, this this woman on she on she wedding day. She was actually in a translucent wedding dress. We could have see her body under she dress, you know. And the only thing she had to actually block off she private part was a bouquet of flowers and no veil over she face. You know what I mean? Although she was in white, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it, it, um, it, it represents white actually represent purity, but they're not seeing the purity in she, in she clothing. And I want to do this video basically, you know, to show that Israel are also, you basically you just do make a whole housewife. And the, the most I have about Shemi or Shai, he's not making any whore a housewife, you know, he want he basically set a, 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 a border, so to speak, to let Israel change the way before they could get God. Our scripture say, you know, two thirds of Israel going to be um, put to death. You know, you're going to take a small remnant, the ones who, who actually, you know, getting themselves um, ready for that, 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 that groom when he come, that bride, getting yourself ready as a bride to the groom when he come, right? Go ahead, Quara. Can. All right, so this is the book of Jeremiah 6 and verse. All right, so yeah, so the scripture say, I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. All right, and that is where Yahweh Bashami, I wish I looking for men of purity in the doctrine, you know. To, 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 to be joined heirs unto Yahweh Bashami, I wish I the Lord and looking for no niggers because we know that the, the, the word nigger it goes back to a attitude and not a people. And two thirds of Israel does go on like niggers, you know. The Lord ain't looking for no niggers to serve in his army. All right. Welcome. Yeah. Yeah. This is book of Proverbs, chapter thirty-one. Chapter Proverbs chapter 31 and starting at verse 10. It says, Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is above rubies? The heart of her husband doeth safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seek wool and flax and work it willingly with her hands. And yeah, you know, the scriptures who could find a virtuous woman, right? And as the scripture also say here, she will get with a new she hands. Because with, um, bring that precept, what a, um, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, 16 and 17. All right. <clears throat> So this is um first Corinthians 
chapter 9 and verse 16 it says for Yeah, go on, yeah, that? I didn't hear that. The point is ready. Which is, which is, I do, I do, which is, willingly, I have, I have a reward, but, but, but again, again my will, it dispenses of the gospel is and yeah, and yeah, as the, 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 the gospel was, was made, was made flax and, and spindle in the, the thing to make clothes and, and so forth. And that's what we ought to be doing, you know, doing videos, you know, we're doing, we're going out there, we're doing the works willingly. Right? I'm not unwilling because the scripture says our reward is life is, is laid up for us. You know, because even when the disciples ask here or shy, you know, what 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 it is, what would they will get after the 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 they leave the house, they leave their wives, you know, is that we have a reward again? The scripture said, "Let no man take your crown." A crown is laid up for us. Right, right. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 21, on verse 3. Outside of verse 1, it says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from power out of heaven, prepared as a bride at dawn for her husband. Right? And that's so we have to be like bride, bride, uh, Prepared for a husband, the scripture say, um, like, um, talk about uh, you keeping your garments clean. We gotta, 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 Concerning um, you know the gifts that the Lord will bestow upon his his wives, basically. Done, done. All right. I mean, let's get it here in the in the book of wisdom, Mr. Solomon. All right, this is um, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and verse 16. I'll read from 15. It says, <clears throat> But the righteous live forevermore. Their reward also is with the Lord, and the care of them is with the Most High. Therefore, they shall receive a glorious kingdom and a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand. For with his right hand shall he cover them, and with his arm shall he protect them. 
all right and concerning that scripture it shows that the elect going and be that bride that yahweh shai going and adorn you understand yes, he, he he going and take pleasure in calling them you know his you know because here with the scripture i say he going and get them a because all right when a man have a, a wife that um she's pleasurable in his eyes she does the things that that make his heart dance where does do you just want to give the best to our wife you understand and here where you have a bashami i was shy going and give to his elect a beautiful kingdom and a beautiful crown he going and he, he going and put a crown of gold on the head mm -hmm. you understand but tutors of israel because tutors of israel go back to that that wife that the brother talk about with all her private parts showing and and you know tutors of israel go back to that because seeing a man a righteous man let me say a righteous man go to marry a woman and he see a, a woman come to the wedding dressed like that he go and rebuke that woman sharply you understand and, and that's that where and that is where you have going and do to two thirds of Israel, he's going and rebuke them with flames of fire. You understand? And, and just to add just to, to, add to it, it also goes with, with Christianity. Christianity have a lot to play with that, that, that dress code. You know, because it, what, what did I say? They love the Lord, right? They love the, 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 they love the Lord and they, they will do the things, but they're not doing the things pleasing unto Him right our precept here for this is the book this, this is the book of luke chapter 12 and i starting at verse 34. it says for where your treasure is there will your heart be also let your loins be girded about and your and your light burden and ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. You know? So, it's not like a, a written thing, you know what I mean? You, 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 it's, it come like this. It, it actually come like a a, a a a virgin, you know, who 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 waiting for she 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 the, the groom a while. When the groom comes, she go be you know she, immediately. She ain't going to let him wait any longer. You know, you know, you get you hear her name, you hear her name, you how about me or shy, and it resonates with you, and you're gone. Can it, it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, yeah. contemplating if it's the name and that name in nah, you heard it and it went immediately. You hear that knock, as the scripture say, Behold, I come and knock on the door, and who you had suffered me, I suffered you and I and I with him. Yeah, you hear that knock and you, you open that door one time. You know it's the Lord, you know it's your Lord that, uh, that, that, that come. Right? So, yeah. Um, Matthew chapter 21 and 42. What I bring that one. Say again. Matthew chapter twenty-one. All right. Matthew twenty-one and verse forty-two. It says, "The commute of the act." Yeah, now let's start again the line. All right, Matthew 
4, um, 21 and verse 42, it says, Yahweh Shai answered and, and Yahweh Shai said unto them, Did ye never read in the scriptures the stone which the builder rejected, the same is become the head of the corner? This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Have you wanted that? Yeah, can. Yeah, can. And you know, and you know that that basically, basically the Israel cast the 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 stone away. You know, they 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 wanted a different man. You know, they choose a different husband, right? We chose the husband, which was the head corner stone. Two thirds of Israel, basically, they they put us that 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 husband away, you know, and they went on to another. Exactly. Exactly. Um, exactly. Um, As they look in, they have a preceptor back. There is Jeremiah 2. All right. That's now. There is Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 11. It says, Had the nation changed their gods? which are yet no gods, but my people have changed their glory for that which doth not pro um, profit. All right? And yet, I, that is actually two thirds of Israel for you because the change, Yahweh Shai, all right, and pick up pagan gods, all right, committing spiritual adultery, you know? We don't know, and it even says, For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living water, and hewed them out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. All right? That is like you, um, that is like you, and, and just to add a little twist it, Israel actually put down a beautiful bridegroom and pick up and pick up a a, a groom that 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 is worthless he so he so eat up because the scripture tell you that the god of this world has blinded their eyes you understand right now tutors are israel actually running after the god of this world that 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 wicked bridegroom you understand that yeah, actually, yeah. yeah, that actually put down your shy to pick up this wicked bridegroom. You understand? A bridegroom that 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 killing his wife and and treat, and mistreating his wife because that is what he saw Edom doing to the inhabitants of the world. You understand? And just to add, just to add. what what um, what um, to the Israel. To Israel to is that, that grand grand the other time? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right. I just want to put that the grass on the other side. So they left, they left, they left, they left the husband and, and they went over, you know. What is that? Our precept here. It's Sirach chapter 7 and verse 26. It says, Has thou a wife after thy mind? Forsake her not, but give not thyself over to a light woman. So, yeah. 
as the scriptures say here after thine mind if you have a wife after your own mind and that is what <laughs> that is what the elect is the elect the, 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 the scriptures say the most i give the um make it known the things that please him on, unto israel he make known the things that please him unto, because what just as yahusha said that um when you see me you see the father is because when the things that the father will do that is the same said things he will do you know they're in, they're in the same mindset and so the elect also have to be in the same mindset of yahusha as well because you know, if you know if i may say what the scripture i talk about david the lord said that david is a man after his own heart you understand because why david he is a righteous king he he actually he's a righteous king and he does do exactly what yahweh delights in you understand and really and truly that is where Yahweh shall come back for are people that do after his own heart you understand because Yahweh shall follow after his father the order is Yahweh shall please his father and by we pleasing Yahweh Shai, we are actually pleasing the Father as well. You understand? Can, can. Actually being in like-mindedness. You know? I want here. Go ahead, go ahead. This is, um, this is Isaiah 61, and I'll read at verse 10. It says, I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God. That is a wife delighting in her husband. All right. For he had clothed me with the garments of salvation. He had covered me with the robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decked himself with ornaments and as a bride adorned herself with her jewels you know and that is actually how yahweh shai going and be to the elect he going and be glorious before the elect you understand and he going and he going and clothe the elect to also um reveal his glory because with the scripture i say the scripture say that you know a woman's hair a wife here is actually the glory of her husband you understand he take delight in it you understand and the lord actually gonna make his elect elect glorious before him you know yeah anything they come yeah, can. yeah can. This is um first Peter chapter three. I'll start at verse six. It says, Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters ye are, as long as ye do well and are not afraid with any amazement, right? Like likewise, ye husband dwell with them according to knowledge given given honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel and as being heirs together of the grace of life that ye pray but that your prayers salakia be not hindered yeah so as yeah, Sarah called Abraham Lord. That is the same way we had to <laughs> give call unto Yahweh Hashem or Shai, you know, calling him Lord. You know, the same goes on to us as well. Right? And going on, it says here you now that you know, as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. So yeah. We is a weaker vessel than our shy or um 
our our lord we come like you understand we come like these um as you were who is the weaker vessel we come we we we're not on the same level with yahushai we weaker vessels than yahushai right we had to pray to yahushai yahabashim yahushai for that strength for them to give unto us you know we just had to be just how, as the scripture there is say as sarah obeyed abraham so we ought to obey our lord and savior as well you know so yeah or something done done this is um this is the book of matthew 25 and i'll read because it actually showing you that two thirds of israel right two thirds of israel goes back to the foolish virgins that's right, that's right. And it's actually showing here that the one third of Israel go back to them that were wise, the five virgins that were wise. So I'll start at um verse one in Matthew 25. It says, Then shall the king, the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. All right, and that lamp goes back to this truth, the wisdom, the knowledge of the scriptures. Because the scriptures tell you that they had not the love of the truth that they might be saved. But the elect, they going and have the love of the truth because they going and be saved. You know? So reading on, it says, and five of them were wise and five were foolish. And I'll say two thirds of Israel is the foolish um, virgins and the, the wise virgins is likened unto the one third. All right. So it says, they that were foolish took their lamp and took no oil with them. Yeah, two thirds of Israel, though they had a, the way that they were seeking God, they're not seeking the Heavenly Father righteously because they're going in all these churches where, where actually you would not find the truth of Yahweh Shai in these christianized churches you know so it says but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps yeah this word the understanding, the understanding of this word while the bridegroom tarried they all slumbered and slept and at at midnight there was a cry made behold the bridegroom cometh go ye out to meet him where the lord say he say he coming as a thief in the night you know because it, it say it say at midnight there was a cry that the bridegroom come in you know so reading on it says then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps and the foolish said unto the wise give us your oil Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. Yeah, the, the understanding that they have no knowledge within them. You understand that actually in the congregation are the dead. That is, that is where they're showing you. Two thirds of Israel, oil, they have no oil in the lamp. They have no understanding of the scriptures. All right? So it says, and, and where the scriptures say, the scriptures say that in the last hour, the, 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 the last um time in two thirds of israel going and be running to and fro for this truth you understand and and that is them being foolish and asking the 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 wise to give them that oil you understand when when basically the gates of repentance close and you know be, be the... huh? that is when the farming of the wood come that is when they go on the wood they want the wood now can all right so reading on it says verse 8 and the foolish said unto the wise give us of your oil for our lamp are gone out but the wise answered saying not so least there be not enough for us and you but go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves yeah the prophets 
because the prophets now we selling this doctrine but we actually given this doctrine that you people refusing it you know but the day going and come where you people going and want it but the farming of the world going and be on the land you know so it says and while they went to buy the bridegroom came and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage mm. and the door and the door was shut you hear that afterwards came also the other virgin saying lord lord open to us but he answered and said verily i say unto you i know you not you understand well, well, because and that, was, when the lad there, there was dressing the um the that garment that was revealing all the goods and thing you know there wasn't cover up there wasn't there wasn't modest you know they wasn't looking for that word they wasn't filling the oil with the the, the, the lamps with oil so to speak well all right so reading on in verse 12 verse 13 sorry it says watch therefore for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the son of man cometh you understand and and with the scripture I say in habakkuk let me let me see if i find it let's get my little my little minute yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. let's just say you know you know Men, men, and you have to be on that. Just say watch, watch as well, watch as well. As well. So no man, no man, no man. I have it. Good, good. This is the book of Habakkuk 2. It says, 2 and verse 1 I will stand upon my watch, I will set me upon the tower. I will watch to see what he will say unto me. And what shall I answer when I am reproved? You understand? So the scripture is saying that A, hey, stand upon your watch because nobody don't know when, the day, the hour, the time, the day or the hour that Yahweh shall come in on this earth. We see in the signs at the time which he, which he spoke of, he said when you see these times, know that the time is near you understand and that is why basically tutors are israel going party they're, they're doing all manner of abominations out there killing the, the own people you understand them not watching them not watching you understand but the prophets of your they are the ones that are watching and seeing the times that is how we could say that we are at the end you know Dal, Dal. Uh, something here. Yeah, yeah, Book of John, Book chapter, John chapter, chapter. John chapter 17 and starting at verse 20. Right? Starting at verse 20, it says, Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me to the to their to their word that they all may be one as do, as thou father art in me and i in him that they also may be one in us that the world may believe that thou has sent me and the glory which thou givest me i give i have given them that they may be one even as we are one so yeah as the scripture say you know we ought to be in the same mindset we ought to be you must be actually preaching the same thing you know having that one because it's it's, it's, it's reminds only one husband 
for 144,000 wives. You know, he, all the wives supposed to be in the same mindset. You know? Do you know what it says? Even as we are one right. I in them and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou had sent me and has loved has loved them as do as thou has loved me. Father, I will I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory which thou hast given me, for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. Right? So we are which I basically say as I was saying before, in the piece I was bringing up before as well, you know. Just how we are with Shai saying, he's in the Father, and the Father is in him. He also saying that he is in them, just like his, the Father, just as his Father is in him. He's also in them, you know? So hence the reason we really ought to be in one mind, because if if, if we have a Shai is in us, is he have a Shai, we're supposed to be, we, we, we're supposed to, um, be manifesting. Can I want you? We we not reading the John the Ark. If I'm I join seven seven. Twenty to twenty four. Oh, well, I have a point here in John seventeen and um verse eight. Bring it. It bring says. It. I know if you want to read it, John 17, verse 8 and 9. It says, it, says, for, for, it says, For I have given unto them the words which thou givest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou givest me, for they are thine. Can't. All right. Yes, yeah, so the scripture is saying that the words that Yahweh gave Yahweh Shai, right? A certain number of bride on the earth have received that word. You understand? Because that word was given to all of Israel, but not all of Israel received that word. You understand? Nice, nice. All right? But the elect, the scripture I tell you that I never can get out from my quam. The elect were, the rest were blinded. All right? So as it say, it say, I pray for them, I pray not for the world, yeah. You understand? Because the world go back to that, that bride that is uncovered. You understand? That shameless woman. Because if you see the um banner we have up here, Sirach 26 and 24, a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. You understand? Which means she gonna be ashamed in the time in Ayahawa Bashami Awashai. Two thirds of Israel going and be ashamed in the timing of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because the Lord say that when He come, He come in with gifts. He come in with, uh, with, with beautiful gifts for His elect. And He come in with judgment for two thirds of Israel. Done. Romans of the um, Romans 
Ya guys. Romans 11 verse 7. Romans chapter 11. Romans chapter 11 and verse 7. It says, 11 and verse 7 is a lot. It says, what then? Israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election had obtained it, and the rest was blinded. Can you understand? And that talking about who who have obtained the love of this truth. All right. The wanted. All right. But the rest that were blinded was talking about two thirds of Israel. All right. Because even at the last hour that we in here, the we in the dregs of Esau kingdom. All right. Esau kingdom going to be destroyed and yet still two thirds of Israel not seeing it. You understand? Uh, they were blinded. Right. This is the book of Matthew chapter 13 and verse 9. It says, Who had ears to hear, let him hear. And his disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but unto them it is not given. Can you understand? It was given unto the elect. All right. But the two thirds of Israel, it wasn't given. You understand? You know, because they didn't, they didn't really mix with our feet. You know, on this side, you know, to believe in the coming. I have a because sometimes when they ask two thirds of Israel, um, you believe the Lord coming, you know what I say? From my youth, I hear in that, from my youth, I hear in that, you know, so that is like that is like an unbelieving statement. You wouldn't believe that, yeah, I wish I coming back, you know, but that is actually the day. That the elect waiting for because men in this truth the conversation does be all about the kingdom you understand living in a world of righteousness all right living with our lord amongst us yahweh shy you know that has been the, the the conversation of the righteous of the, of the one third but the conversation at two thirds is like what what one man woman that could pop you know, one man of sin that could do. You know? Two I days of Israel. Huh? I have a precept of the back here. Can. There's a... Um, Second um, Peter chapter 3. And verse... I'll start on verse 3. It says, Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lusts and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continued as they were from the beginning of creation. So I just want to lay it again. Can, your papi, sir. You understand? Because that is, that is actually the mindset of two thirds. Nothing is happening. So I live in my life, you know? So yeah. And, and yeah, they, they say they, what it is also say is there's one life to live. And, you know, you have to go, yes, do good and live your life in the now. So what do the scriptures say about that? All right, this is the book of Ecclesiastes.
the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8 and verse 12. It says, Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear God, which fear before him. Yeah, that's how you have to live your life. If you have, if you have any form of knowledge, wisdom, or understanding, you have to live in the fear of the most high. You have to ask me You know, the scripture says in the book, I was Ecclesiastes um, 13, and verse 12, he said, for this is the whole duty of a man, to fear the most high, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, and keep his commandment. What, 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 what two-thirds does think in the head is that that life they come to here to live, they know that it, they, it's not the only time they came. And you get a chance where you could correct, you know, try to make it, you go, you don't know what you're doing in your past life. No, no, we don't know what you're doing in your past life. So hey, you get, you get a, a new state again, try to put your best for, foot forward and try to make the best state in, in that way. Try to serve the most high, yeah, but you know, as best as you could. You know? So yeah. What the? What the is, 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 is a wicked mindset to have. Have a good step, yeah. This is First Peter 4 and verse 17. Mm -hmm. It says, For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of power. And if it first began at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The end of that is. You know, that is going to ultimately be this. You know? You know? Can. Scripture to about. And the second death, well, yeah, the second death is, is, is basically approaching us. You know, World War Three. That, that lake of fire that going to be engulfed mainly in America and different parts of the world. But to save yourself from that way, you can't be a foolish virgin. You have to have that oil in your lamp. You know? You can't come to the to the to the marriage with without a veil on your face and you, you, you basically your body exposed. That is no you gotta come. You gotta come like the good wife. We could end with that precept. My um um a proper fine had that precept in it. I am um, Sirok 26 and 16. Okay. 26, and six, 26 and 16. Can. Can. All right. So this brings us to the last precept here. This is the rock 26 and verse 16. It says, As the sun, when it ariseth in the high heaven, so is the beauty of a good wife in the ordering of her house. Done. You know, it's the beauty of a woman in the order of her house. And how, 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 how does a, a righteous woman order her house? What did what Joshua say? As for me and my house, we will serve the Abba Shemi You know? Yeah. So, so. Hopefully the video the elect and to the listeners, the women who listen in silence, we want to say all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Kakodash. We want to say double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that surely rule well. 
and salutation to the brothers through the four corners of the earth that pushing this work in sincerity and truth. The two brothers from Jemesh Trinidad saying shalawam to the elect.